Hello, everybody, and welcome back. I'm KRX, and we're going to be continuing this starter uh, city build focused on design. We have some cash. We do need to make sure that we're getting in at least the uh, the garbage set up here, which if we put this too far away, it's not going to be able to have power. But I would have liked it a little bit more corner. We can move that eventually pretty easily. Uh, we do have a lot more uh, residential demand. We also have the ability to get in another wind turbine there. In fact, we're going to be able to get all the things that we need. Let's get the little neighborhood clinic over here, filling that space up, and let's just start going to town. Let's start going to town. Are there any, like, smooth slopes to go up? Because I'm looking here. No, it seems like, honestly, what's probably going to make more sense is to do some, like, tunnels and stuff, um, but to, to kind of have this branch up this way, sort of like a tree. And then sort of come up this way and fill in this way. There's some really interesting little nooks and crannies up here that I think mostly would probably be well suited for just, uh, you know, residential. But I think here, oh, because we built that clinic, we have no money. Let's go back up to speed here. That's going to be all of the little bit of money that we had, but that's at least going to get that clinic happy. This is well. This is actually, the piping here doesn't even look too bad by our standards, to be honest. But we really do need to make some money so that we can invest it in housing. I don't really want to zone anything else at this point. I'm tempted to go straight here, actually. 10 and then hook it. Let's get some... That looks good to me. Again, kind of using, we're using the cliffy bits, but we're also kind of using the forest. I think it's a little bit goofy that the, well, I mean, I don't know. There's there's some sort of like, you know, it's not on the steep, steepest parts of the cliff and, you know, trees find a way, so. But I usually, personally, when I'm kind of putting trees around, I usually don't like to put too many trees like on, on, the, on the really rocky sort of slopes and stuff. Even though there definitely would be some growing there. Why is this costing so much? I'm confused. We're making, we're going on speed three, making 500 bucks. Oh, we need to raise taxes. We need to raise our, our tax attack. This might be one of those situations where we take a loan out, you know, spend money to make money. Spend money to make money. And we know we're going to be gold in here. So it's not like a, it's not like we're worried about, you know, that you can't really bankrupt, bankrupt yourself from a loan um, because loans only cost you a small amount per week so as long as you're making money per week and and even the loan itself right if you, if you just look at like the price to pay a loan it's like a thousand bucks to get this cash now it's like that's that's nothing that's nothing although this does look like it needs to bend up more here but yeah basically right we have good edges here we can just go with the flow super simple Super easy. It's just kind of like right there in front of us. What kind of animals do we have in Madagascar? More American bison? Maybe it's an African buffalo. Who knows? Anyways, not, not that they uh, hang out in Madagascar, I don't think. I'm kind of like noticing that this area is kind of, we're leaving some space here. I don't know if we want to hook it. I think we might just, we need side roads there anyways. So I think having this sort of hook early could work. Let's go up 15. Let's just do a 15, 15. I'm not trying to make this perfect, but. Heck, I could see this just going straight through at this point, adding some straight edges. I could see a dirt road coming down here more along this edge, taking advantage of, of this extra space down here. That could be a nice contrast, right? This could then go with the natural curvature a little bit more and then rejoin in uh, maybe like right here where it's um, straightening out. Heck, that, this could still sort of keep going wild and... And crazy wow we're running out of money just buying dirt roads we need we need to get more houses in here 
right? We need to get more houses in here. That's going to, uh, to radically boost up the amount of income that we can gain. Uh, residential tends to be, I, I, from what I've noticed, it tends to be like number one sort of income source in the game. There are some policies that you can use to kind of get a lot of income from um, commercial and stuff, but but usually just right off the bat, it's like usually there's going to be a pretty disproportional amount of your income coming from coming from residential. In fact, I mean, this is only going to get more extreme. But right now we're making 800 from industry. Yeah, huh. that's not going to be that's not going to be true. Um, well, I mean, we'll still make more, but I mean, relative income is going to go way down with industry over time. Uh, unless you have the industry's DLC, in, in which case that kind of just ends up printing a bunch of money. So we're going a little bit slower here, but I'm liking the, I'm liking kind of what we have going at least. I don't know about that house right there. At least like maybe make it like a shorter, like make them sort of smaller houses, like that, um, on that sort of that that edge. I don't think the goal is to like do any housing like on these slopes up and down, it's a little too steep. Um, if we actually had industrial demand, which we do, we easily just bring this through. This probably could be like a one way, honestly. I was just thinking about this. That could probably just be like a little one way triangle. This whole thing could probably be like a one way triangle. Yeah, there we go. So now it's two little, oh, we hit a milestone. Let's go, some extra cash. What do we actually need for this one? need fire and police, which we'll probably need to do a couple different police stations, it looks like. Not getting any commercial demand at all, which is okay. Running out of power, so we do need to make sure that we're getting more uh, power built ASAP. We have a, some really good wind turbine areas, and I think we're going to eventually make this commercial, but it's going to be a while before we need to go there uh, and do commercial there. So. Um, I, I could see this being a really interesting area out here once we get these tiles unlocked. You know, you could really see some nice tourism out here or something like that, totally. But yeah, we are basically... Oh, we hit that milestone, so we need to go back up to... Right, we need to go back up to speed 3. And right now, we're trying to save up for the wind turbine, which I think is... Um, three, uh, six thousand. You know what the heck? We're taking a loan. I don't want to take the giant loan because it's just like, I feel like they would just be too, too powerful. Loans are loans are good. Like if you need to take a loan, take a loan. Not a big deal. Our income per week though is actually kind of suffering a little bit, which is kind of interesting to me. And I'm just kind of wondering. Is it just those extra services we we jumped down? We did end up putting it again. Services are expensive, right? We're spending a thousand just between the fire station and the police station, right? We're spending a thousand. So if we were making two thousand before, now we're making, you know, a thousand now. So and then we just took that loan out, which costs us some per week, and then we just added more power. So services, right? Building slower, building slower, gets you, uh, kind of gets you to avoid. Some of those, uh, some of those little pitfalls early on. Just keeping an eye again. You know, like it's not the the cost, the ten thousand to build the the clinic is is basically nothing, right? The cash that you have is something that will just keep going up as long as you're making money. What could what could drain your money is that that four hundred per week, right? So just making sure that this number is larger than four hundred, and there you go. You can't really ever go negative as long as as long as that's. Um, as long as that's the case, as long as you're always keeping an eye on how much you're making, how much the buildings you're putting down are costing you per week. What you'll notice is the benefit of adding services does tend to increase your income. So it doesn't it doesn't quite work. It's it's actually usually not even 400 per week as the net, right? You don't just immediately lose 400 per week. Usually it's much um, much less than that. But still, it, it, at least if you're following that as a general pr principle, you're definitely not going to run into any like issues or anything. I'm kind of, oh, this is interesting, actually. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Because now it's looking like, I, I like all of this, but now I'm wondering, do we need, see how this is actually a way down into here, which is actually kind of cool, because then that could kind of tie down into here, and kind of like, ooh, that could even swing into, 
Like we could, ooh, what if we curve this out a little bit? Well, this is kind of intentionally sort of a, a sharp fit, but if this sort of like, if we could make this, maybe even just have it go sharp like that, but then that could swing in, curve up into here, swing around into there, and we could start getting some more sort of curvature going and com more combining of, of all the different things. Oh, we actually just need more water, actually. We just straight up need more water at this point, so let's get these back up to there. We're not going to ever have to add more, probably, until the city gets much larger. So that's going to be plenty for, you know, we'll have to get to like four or 5,000 pop before we'll need to think about adding more water, I suspect. I don't think we want this to just be a dirt road. I, th I think we did, we do want to actually like merge this in something a little heavy duty. Honestly, what if this came through? What if that just shot through? I like this. I like this. I like this. And we could even have it go straight for a bit. We could have it sort of take a, do like a kind of a harder curve down. Hmm. Maybe a 120 angle. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Maybe a 115. What does a 110 look like? 110 might even be better. Because it does look like there's a natural sort of a, a swoosh back this direction, from what I can tell. 20 there, and then basically I think what we're going to want to do is is basically swoosh this over to here. We're just going to kind of try to get like a straight, kind of a, a straight road going this way. I don't know how we're going to tie all that in. But now that we have this, right, we can then basically, I think we bop this back a little bit, and maybe... Tiny towns. We're hitting milestone after milestone. Things are things are zipping through here. We got tons of money. I don't think tiny town adds anything important either. But this can kind of swoop through, and there we go. Now we're kind of heading up here. Question is though, do we want this to be dirt road or did we want this to be paved road? I'm kind of not convinced um, at the fact. Like, do we want to try to like wiggle this in? like this, and then that would allow us to convert this to a paved system, which I think makes more sense. I think we have a bad note in here somewhere, though. No, maybe not. Maybe not. So let's just grab this and, and sort of pop it. No, okay. And honestly, yeah, that's actually totally fine. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Which honestly, now I'm thinking like if we're going with the tree design, right? This would be very sort of plant-based. If this kind of, kind of this this sort of branching, uh, drooping and branching and spreading kind of a look, right? Is if, is if this, kind of like did something like this. I don't think we need to get rid of the straight stem though. It's sort of the trunk of the whole thing. I'm liking that, guys. I'm liking that. Now, we have some big, scary spaces here that we're going to need to fill somehow. It definitely seems like it needs to be curved rather than grid. Um, but if we can keep seeing connections between roads, we might be able to kind of do a little bit of a combination of both. I'm actually realizing we didn't have this set correctly. Let's go back to that so we're not hearing some like really goofy music. Because the default music in this game is not great. It really isn't. Sorry about that, guys. I apologize um, that we've been listening to, to that. I'm actually kind of thinking a connection to there wouldn't be great, but maybe a connection, maybe something down here would be good. We've kind of done some infrastructure. We haven't actually grown the city much in this segment. We haven't actually grown the city much. Here, but we're getting some some good infrastructure we're kind of seeing how things are going to develop I think what we do need to do this road right here man what if this actually looked like it like swooped into there or something or or hooked around and and uh, maybe that kind of like creates um, this sort of like a line like because if this can kind of swoop in and then start hugging there and breaking that mold and then it can kind of come into there 
not getting the exact angles that I'm looking for here because this really does I want this to be like sort of at that sort of parallel tangent basically going off of that tangent much better much better but still you know again it's one of those things where it's like why do we have this swoop there we could just have one clean swoop the whole way let's see if we could do that 20 out here that's almost perfect i think we take that i think we take that and that be and we could just honestly we just put a bunch of dirt road this is kind of a tropical island you know there'd be some rural roads here probably this all kind of makes sense to me a little bit this could end up being an interesting park area but over here well i don't know because i'm thinking we kind of need one more something I don't know what the heck we're doing, guys. Don't know what the heck we're doing, but we're doing something. Now it's like what? Like a, a it's got like the the weavings like a like a tennis ball or a baseball or something like that let's just let's just fill this in let's just build this in i don't think there's going to be that much empty space there to be honest this could work this could work we just need to make sure it's all watered up and it looks like it actually is which is nice that's actually not important to do there however this down here could be important just to kind of get done round out But to me, it looks like we have an interesting uh, evolution of the city going on here. I'm actually really liking the city. This one's coming out pretty well. Pretty well. Guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I will see you guys in the next one.